So Apple just released iOS and iPadOS 16.2 RC edition. So the RC edition stands for Release Canada, which means the next update will be the public release, which ideally will be middle to late of next week. So it will definitely be out before the holidays. And there's one feature that Apple added to Apple Music, which I think you know fits perfectly in that time of year to be able to share and use that new feature with your loved ones and with friends. So in this video, I wanna talk about Apple's new music karaoke feature inside of Apple Music. So let's talk about that and see exactly what you get out of it, what it includes, what's missing from it, and finally, a live test. Let's get into it. So before I show you the actual live demo and how it works, I do want to reiterate that this is still in the RC, so it's still technically a beta, so you will not have access to this if you are not in the beta program, either the developer or the public beta program. So like I said, it will probably release middle of next week for everybody to try out on either the iPhones or their iPads or even their Apple TVs. So I wanna talk about exactly what Apple Music, this new karaoke feature does offer. So first off, you do get adjustable vocals, which I'll show you guys exactly how that works, but users can now have control over the song's vocal levels. They can sing with the original artist vocals, take the lead or mix it up with millions of songs in the Apple Music catalog. You also get the real-time lyrics. Real-time lyrics have been there for a little while now and it's actually one of Apple's best features in Apple Music. Obviously, the competitors like Spotify have lyrics available as well, but there's something about Apple's UI which makes it very, very nice to kind of just read through and follow along even before this karaoke feature did come out. So you also get some background vocals, and what this means is that vocal lines sung simultaneously can animate independently from main vocals to make it easier for users to follow. And then finally, you also have a duet mode in here. So Apple's kind of thought of everything. And again, this is one of those features where it's like, you don't really need to have it. Apple didn't need to do this. It was just a feature brought over to us, I guess for free for all Apple users that already pay for Apple products to begin with. So it was nice that Apple added this feature. And again, features don't need to just optimize your life. Features can just be there for fun to share with your loved ones. But the duet view allows multiple vocalists to show on opposite sides of the screen to make duets or multi-singer tracks even easier to sing along. And I have heard from the grapevine that it's actually best used on a larger display. So even though you can use it on your iPhone and it works great on your iPhone, using it on something like an iPad is even better. And then finally using it on your Apple TV is probably the best case scenario, especially if you're doing it with a bunch of people at the same time. Some of the things to take note of are, or the main question is, what songs does this work with? Does this work with the entire catalog? So there's no real indication as to how many or no exact number as to how many songs this works with, but it's supposed to be a lot of them. So Apple hasn't shared exactly what songs are compatible. So you kind of have to just feel it out go into the song you like, see if the lyrics are available, and see if that little button is actually there and it persists. But the feature is launching with support for tens of millions of songs, and that is a quote directly from Apple. So for now, you'll have to listen to the song and tap on the lyrics button to see if it works with Apple Music Sync Karaoke. And like I said, this is still in beta, so the feature is a little bit buggy at times, but for, for me, honestly, it's worked pretty well. And then one thing that I did notice, the only like limitation that I saw is if your phone or your iPad is in low battery mode, then it will not allow you to do the karaoke feature because I guess they don't see it as an essential feature. So if you are in low power mode, it will not allow you to do the karaoke feature because it probably drains a little bit more battery. But now let me show you exactly how this actually works. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna show my iPhone on the screen and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get to it. So first off, it's very simple. Just make sure that you're on 16.2 RC or later if you're watching this after the fact and then literally just go into your music app. And again, this only works with Apple Music and it doesn't obviously work with things like Spotify or anything like that. But all you have to do is go pick a song. So for instance, if I go into Holiday, let's pick a random song here. I'm gonna make sure the volume is all the way turned down so we don't get copyright strike. So if we click on this classic one by Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas, you can automatically see that when you go in there, you have the lyrics show up. And again, this is one of Apple's best parts about Apple Music in my personal opinion. Again, I am mostly a Spotify user and that's just because I've been with Spotify for a long time, but I do have Apple Music as well as part of Apple One. But again, the lyrics is one of the best parts. So if you're in the lyrics screen, all you have to do is tap on the lyrics screen just to bring up the actual menu. And then you can see that there's a little microphone with some stars on there. If the song is compatible with this new karaoke feature, then you'll see that button. So if I click on that, then all of a sudden you see this new little volume rocker. And in this volume rocker, what that's there for is to control the volume of the vocals of the artist that's singing inside of there. So if you do lower the volume all the way down, it doesn't mute them completely, but they are very low and in the far distance. So it's almost like they're not there and it's almost like you're listening to an instrumental, but then the lyrics still move with you. So if you don't wanna really hear Mariah Carey sing and you wanna belt out yourself, all that you want for Christmas, then by all means, go for it. And then again, obviously you can move that volume up and down. So if you wanna sing along with Mariah Carey, you can do that as well. And one more thing that I did notice is that if you click on a song and you open it up, there's a little sing icon right underneath the scrubber or the timeline scrubber to let you know like, hey, you can actually use the new sing or karaoke feature with this right here. So that is what it looks like on the iPhone. I wanna quickly show you what it looks like on the iPad and then we'll finish up. 
So like I said, I just quickly wanted to show you guys what the experience is like on a larger display with an iPad. So like I said, all you have to do is open up your music app, go to your library, see exactly what's going on. And I do want to show you that if you are in low power mode, like I mentioned, so let's go into the new Drake album. Let's pick whatever one of these songs. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Circle Loco. So if I click on that, then you open it up right here. You get the lyrics that show up. And then you do also have that little karaoke button, which is the microphone. So if you click on that during low power mode, it says vocal controls will be available once low power mode is turned off. So if I go into here, turn off low power mode, click back on this, then you can see that I'd have that microphone up and running again. And you can see that everything's just bigger, more easy to use, more easy to view. And again, on a bigger screen, in my opinion, is better. So if you do have an Apple TV and you are gonna update it once it does release and the RC edition does turn into a public version, by all means, put it on there and enjoy it this holiday season. But let's finish up this video. But that is pretty much gonna do it for this video, everybody. Like you saw, 16.2 RC brought a nice little welcome feature, which was that nice karaoke feature. I mean, I'm all for it. I'm all for features that don't really need to be a productivity feature. They can just be there for fun. People forget that sometimes, right? With everything and all these advancements we're making and software, and hardware in pretty much any industry. Everybody has to have a reason for something to be done. Sometimes adding a feature just for fun is okay, everybody. But that is gonna do it for this video, everybody. If you did enjoy, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below, and also leave some comments down below of what song you're gonna try out first with this new karaoke feature. For me, it's probably gonna be some sort of Justin Bieber Christmas song, but I'm curious to know what you guys listen to, so comment them down below, and I'm always happy to kind of see and maybe listen to some new music this holiday season. But that's gonna do it, everybody. If you guys wanna watch more iPadOS, iOS, or macOS videos, click on one of these right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando. And I'm out of here. Peace.